What's up guys, my name is Your Heroes and welcome back to more Call to Arms. Now the reason today I'm doing another Call to Arms video is because I approached a, what do you call it, a, a mod, a mod maker or a workshop maker on the Call to Arms Mac like OJ is. But this is not OJ's mod, this is someone called TJ Dagger. Now she's actually quite popular on the Steam Workshop on Men of Warsaw Squad 2 and Call to Arms. Now, if you haven't checked him out, then I will leave one of his, well, this mod in the description down below, which is called Brutal Combat. Now, I, now, this mod is actually very fun. Now, this mod is very, if you've played TJ Daggers, any, any of his mod, now, this one will be quite familiar to you. Now, Brutal Combat is, uh, well, you can play single player, but it's also multiplayer, but... You have a choice of uh, of couple locations, but basically, it's a uh, it's a, I don't know how you explain it. It's kind of like a one. It's a one v one, but you can do it with co-op. So you can do it like you against a friend or you with a friend against AI. But what it is you get to choose somewhere on like any of these maps, and you get to choose the faction that you want to go. You can choose how. The, the resources, how much resources you get, so the amount of ma uh, is it ma not manpower, um, MP, is it manpower? And you also get to choose what infantry you bring out, what tanks you bring out, you can bring out helicopters, airstrikes, you can basically bring out everything. But, I have a challenge, and it's basically the mod that lets you play, so brutal, so it lets you, it is basically brutal combat because it is a very, very much close combat action, and it is pretty br brutal as well. So I have chosen the map of, by the way, sorry if you can hear my dog barking, I've got my window open because it's very warm just now, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to be choosing the map location, where was it, Siege. Now it is an 8v8, but really it is quite... It's, it's not that big, I would say it's probably it's medium size, but what I'm going to be doing today, I am going to be choosing a, a quite low amount of resources for myself to defend against off. And the aim of this mod is that you have to defend yourself off against the enemy and your aim, your goal is to basically let, let them attack you and let them run out of manpower. Let, basically let them spend all their manpower and let them run out and once they have no more manpower left all you need to do is finish off the remaining of the enemy units that are left and then you have won the game so it is I, i've probably explained it quite badly but i hope dj tiger if you are watching this i hope i've explained it okay um so yeah but if you want to check out the mod for yourself then please go check the description down below where you can check the mod for yourself and D TJ Dagger does actually explain it in a full in a full way. That was just me kind of minim kind of, kind of summarizing it up in a way. But he if you're gonna on of on his mod you'll see that he explains it all. So I hope that's a good enough explanation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in to this and then I'm gonna explain everything that I'm gonna be doing in a minute. So this is gonna be a good challenge and I hope you enjoy. So let's go. Okay here we are so this is the area the reason i chose this map is because mainly of just the middle part just because of this really thing of this statue and this kind of this rec t atbv now i am the challenge is that i have to defend this this kind of stone over here this sorry not the stone this um statue it's not a statue it's a it's a memory stone kind of and it's got kind of really good detail here as you can see if we zoom in you see Anna Rothenberg, Martin Mills, Christopher Rockle, Stephen Big basically a bunch of names here that are that were remembered during the the war is it the cold war so that looks like a Russian star I believe if I'm correct but my challenge is is to defend this area and hold it out with as much power as we can now 
Now, as you can see here, we have, we can choose our own faction over here. So we can either be the GRM, the Rebels, the UAF, USA, Germany, or Russia. By the way, I don't think that's uh, the background of that German flag is wrong, because I think that's like the, the Nazi one. Um, so I don't know, TJ Dag, I don't know if you want to maybe change that um, to, to like the modern one, to the modern kind of German flag, but other than that, everything's awesome. So you get to choose your own faction. Now because of this challenge and because of this uh, Russian star, I've decided to go the Russians. And I think I might be able to repair this tank as well. So now we get to choose the, now we get to actually choose the enemy faction. So. In this mod you can do a whole bunch which is love you can be you can be really flexible on what you can choose here so I'm going to be choosing we are going to be fending off Germany and their their objective is the the, the enemy is to capture this uh, position over here this Russian kind of statue I believe it's Russian because of like the Russian star I believe I'm not sure so now what we get to do is we get to set the enemy resources so this is the enemy resources up here so they have 2,000 sorry that, that is that 20,000 that's 20,000 I believe so they have max they have literally max manpower right now but on this case I'm going to give them just a wee bit less not too not too little so I'm going to give them um, 18,000, um, I believe it was 20,000, so I'm going to give them, um, actually I'm going to give them a wee bit less because they have a lot more than me. So currently I only have 5,000 out of 20,000, they have 15,000 out of 20,000, so it's a lot more. And we're going to set that. And now we get to set our resources. So as you can see down at the bottom here, this is our resources. This is how much we, how much resource we can bring out. So I'm going to, I'm not going to up it by much, but I'm going to, I'm going to say roughly maybe about 6,000 MP. Now that is actually not a lot. The amount of stuff that I have to defend myself against is quite a lot. So. I would say this is actually pretty fair. Actually, I'm going to give myself just a wee bit more. I would say give myself 8,000 or I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's a wee bit too much. 7,000. I feel like 7,000 is okay. So that means we do have a lot of points to, to, we do have a lot of points to play with there. So we're going to set that. Now, now we can actually choose whether we want to spawn from the north, the east or the west. So what I had in mind when kind of organizing this, I'm thinking that I'm going to be spawning in the west side and the enemy are going to be coming from the east side instead of north and south because as you can see north and south it's interesting but you don't have a lot to play with also i don't know what this kind of this white thing is i think it's just a wee bit of lag or something i don't know whatever it is but we are going to be choosing from the west position because that does give us a lot of stuff to play with so here we go so um uh, and they are going to start um yeah, so let's hold up and wait. So what we can actually do here, we can press the wait button. And what that does is that that allows us to set up the positions, to set up the stuff that we want to, that we want to before they can, before they can attack. So what, what you can see here, you can actually, there's a bunch of options here. You can either, now this is a music option, so you can either play the music, go forward, uh, play music forward, go back, stop it or rewind it. So I'm just gonna stop it because of copyright, it, because of copyright stuff. So I hope that's okay. But as you can see, let's just go through them individually. Um, the each of the sections. So as you can see, we have the infantry section. So we can call out three squads, and of course, squad three costs 300, squad two costs 200, and squad one are just 100. So these are just the the just normal infantry the more advanced infantry and then you've, i presume you've got the marines over here you can call out medics you can call out at soldiers now what i actually really like is the way that um tj dagger's done it he you can actually see there's pictures over here which i really like i wish you could do that for kind of like the soldiers here just show and um, maybe say like what type of soldiers they are but you can see we've got medics, AT soldiers, we've got tanksmen, we've got MGs, we've got engineers, light snipers, snipers, and heavy snipers. So that's what you can pick from the infantry division. Going on to the 
if I can hear it. So now we can go into vehicles. Now vehicles is really interesting. So we can either choose an LMG vehicle. We can use we can use an HMG vehicle. We can choose a grenade launcher vehicle. We can use an anti-tank. Uh, uh, an anti-tank vehicle, we can choose an AA vehicle, we can choose an uh, armoured vehicle number one and I don't know what that would be in the, in the Russian one. We can choose artillery, which would be very useful, we, I presume that's maybe a mortar or something I presume. We can choose armoured vehicle number two, we have tanks, we can choose tank one, tank two, we can, we can also get ammo and heavy ammo for our tanks and infantry, we can also get some fuels for maybe um, anything else. Now what we can also do, that is the tank division kind of covered. Now moving on to the air support. Now the air support which I really love because I did actually test this mod to make sure everything was okay, make sure everything was great. And it is, so we can either get an air strike, we can get light support, so a helicopter with machine guns, or we can get a gunship that has rockets, machine guns and everything in it which is really nice. So you'll be seeing the helicopters very soon but what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to be setting up uh, just now and then I'll get back to you once everything is set up and we're ready to go. So I'll see you in a minute when we're all set up. So yeah, here we go. Okay guys, I'm back. That took a long time and probably is going to take up a lot of my storage on my computer. But yeah, look at this. I'm actually almost done. I have got nearly everything ready. Now I do know that don't worry I do know that they're probably going to be flanking all the way around from the south you know and probably going to go all the way around from the north which I do have this air area protected this we can have um, fortification area although I do not have the south covered but that was okay because they're going to be their objective is to try and take the middle which is my plan um, or mostly they're probably just going to try and take out everyone but I do have a tank here, I have a, T I have a T72B1, I do have some infantry and I do have some kind of tank traps and some um, barbed wire along here just in case they come, they do come along the main road. Now I do have this area kind of fully protected mostly trying, mostly everywhere and I might try and repair that T7, T80 BV if I can. I do have some supply trucks over here. I do have a deadly, very deadly sniper over here. As you, as you can see, I have a, I have a range on everything in front of me, so to protect some of my troops. I have another tank over here. I have the T, I have the T80 U, a much stronger tank than the T72 but it's okay and this area I've kind of protected this area over here so that means we have all angles from the front sides and kind of the north as well and I have an AA gun, an AA kind of vehicle just to take out any heli any helicopters I'll be around here and of course I do have this area fortified as well now I do have my engineer and I'm just literally just setting up the last couple of things over here um, which is my idea. So I'm just I'm just setting up a couple of things over here. In the meantime, I'm still going to go over. I do have an, an artillery piece, the mighty Russian artillery piece, to cover any just in case they try and do a uh, try and cover or they try and blow me up. Now, and I do have some ammo trucks, and I do have the a helicopter, the the Kamov Ka57 Heavy. Look at this thing. It, it looks so nice, so deadly, and it's awesome. So. I'm almost, I'm literally almost ready, I'm literally just setting this wee area up and then I'm actually, and then I am done. Now I know, by the way, I will get some more stuff over time but the more troops I do kill the more resources I will get but what I actually also forgot to explain was that, that, so the enemy are different let's say, so the enemy are should I, how should I put it? They're, they're different, uh, so whatever I bring out, they're going to counterattack. So let's say I do bring a, I don't, let's say I bring out a, uh, a tank, let's say. Let's say I've got a tank over here. They can counter, they will automatically counterattack it by bringing out like another tank or an RPG or something like that. So the AI, the enemy AI, do bring out a lot of counter stuff to count to whatever I have brought out. So let's say I have brought out, you know, a, a sniper, let's say. Let's say I've brought out a sniper. The enemy, the enemy AI will bring out snipers as well. So I'm sorry if you can hear 
kids in the background. Again, my window's open because it is warm. So it is very interesting to see what they've brought out. So I'm literally almost done. I'm literally just setting up a few more things over here. I'm going to be setting up a few traps over here. Um, and what I love about this, you can set out mines and everything, and it takes a long time to prepare. But I'm not. Go uh, but as I go on, I will try and you know get stuff as well to try and counterattack everything that they bring out. So I have a few troops along here. I've I've mostly everything defending this area. A few troops over here as well. Some special troops as well. So I do have. I do have a lot of stuff over here, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to count it. So as soon as the resources go down to zero, um, or they basically run out, that means I can make my counter attack and basically finish them off by killing everything that they have. So we are just going to get a few more stuff over here. And then that should be us done. So I'm actually mostly ready. So I'm going to get my helicopter. I'm going to get my pilots in the helicopter. and. 3, 2, 1, and we are ready to go. Um, we are just setting up this uh, this um, this tank trap over here, and then what I might do is is that I will be setting up a small a dig a foxhole just uh, over here, just so uh, just so we can have some more uh, backup. Now I do actually have a, a a car over here, a grenade launcher over here, as you can see with the machine gun on it, because it looks very sexy, and that's one of the specialities. Of the Russians they have kind of like a grenade launcher and a large machine gun in the same in the same vehicle which is really nice and that's what I love about the Russians so we are just gonna set up uh, actually we could set up maybe um uh, we could set up a couple of things uh, over here nope I didn't mean that um, we're gonna set this up over here and we are going to get some more troops over here uh, over here so we can cover this area and that is us done we don't actually have a medic but that's okay right okay i am ready to go three oh i didn't mean to go into options now we can actually what i forgot to say is that we can actually go into option and we can actually change like the daylight so if we want it to be day night whatever it is i can change that and i'm going to put on auto repair on and then i'm going to put on ai medics uh, can toggle or it can do it on so that means if there's anybody that is down that need a medic that the ai will do it automatically instead of me doing it so that's real nice but we are now ready to go we are just getting everything i don't know where you're going you can stay here engineer and i'm sure uh what happened why did you not finish that off um i told you to build like that there we go and uh, my troops haven't arrived but that's okay right three two one let's go i'm ready to go so now they're gonna so as you can see the hit points just went down so they've just brought out something so as you can see here mad screaming kids shut up oh you, you hear that you hear the alarm that's going off right okay i'm going to be controlling the helicopter let's go baby oh this is exciting this is really exciting look at this this is going to be epic so they're going to be bringing out stuff you can see they've already brought out one thing but i don't know what it is and you can just see this look at this a second just give me a second just look at this this is just epic man yes i've actually kind of lowered my graphic settings just to a wee bit lower but it just shows just how awesome this is it's just such a cool map and and i love it anyway let's continue let us continue so they will be bringing out stuff in a second um once i see some movement so uh, oh there we go we have our first move a helicopter interesting you know what? you need to die you need to die there we go it's down oh there we go i don't know if you guys can hear this i can barely hear the sound right let's turn this thing up there we go there we go helicopter down jesus now this the russians aren't very accurate with their rockets but that's okay yep okay they're bringing out some more stuff okay this is what i'm worried about why did that engineer just not do it i don't know what my engineer is doing right now wherever he is i'm worried what else did they bring out see you can see they're bringing out some more stuff but i don't know what it is See, this is why I have my helicopter, because they can counter-attack with enemy helicopters. They'll counter-attack with anything that they've got. So, 
and I love the Russians. Now, I know my graphics aren't, I've put them on high because I'm scared that I might lag a wee bit, but... Right, who, what are you bringing out, huh? Come on, you should be bringing out stuff, right? Oh, hold on. Oh, we have enemy contact. Oh, they shot. Oh, they shot. Oh, nice, very nice. Oh my god, they, oh, they're just sending helicopters, that's it. So we are playing against the Germans. So the Germans are very difficult to, to kind of take out. So as you can see, we're getting some more points as we go along. So I'm going to get some more... I don't know why, there's a glitch that... I don't know, uh, TJ Dagger, if you are watching this. Oh, it looks like we have enemy contact. There we go. Yes, there we go. You see? Oh, brilliant. There we go. Excellent. Oh, look at that. They're dead. Oh, looks like they have another helicopter. Come on, enemy contact. Boom. You need to die. There we go. An instant takedown. Boom. Oh my god. See, this is why I have this helicopter. It's amazing. I love Russian helicopters. They're so better. They're, I, they're so much better than the Germans and the American helicopters, like the Apaches and all that, but... Alright, I'm gonna get uh what should I get? I think I'm gonna get an armored vehicle over here. Just to give it just to give this air some more um give this air some more protection. So I'm gonna bring out a vehicle out over here. Yes, look at this. Oh see now they're bring out they're bring out some heavy assault, some German heavy assaulters, which is okay. Let's see what we've got. Oh we've got a BMP 2M. So the thing is what I really like about this is that you don't that you don't know what the vehicles are going to be. It's going to, it's really suspicious. Oh, see, now they're ki- Oh, see, now they're counter-attacking. Um, excuse me. No. No. Yes, there we go. It's down. We have another helicopter. I believe we do. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's a vehicle. We need to take that thing out. We need a guided missile. Boom, there we go, it's down. Enemy is down. Oh yeah, they brought, what did they bring out? That was a martyr, an SPZ martyr. Looks like they did take out some of our troops, but we are okay. Oh, look at that, epic. Look at this, we are doing absolutely great right now. This is absolutely delicious. Right, we're gonna put our BMP in the middle over here. Oh, look at this, some good stuff. So they only have 9,000 points left. Oh, that was a close one. Oh! We need to take that thing out. Oh! The, the Germans are accurate, but I have the firepower. Yes, they're down. Okay, so now they're bringing out stuff to the south over here. Oh my god, I'm just seeing explosions everywhere and lag. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but it's epic. Yes, there we go. See, now we're really well protected. I thought they had more hit points. They do. They have... 2,000, they had 20,000, or was that two? Oh, did I make it 2,000? Oh, whoopsie, I might have made it too low. Um, that's okay. I thought they had 20,000. Um, can I turn... There you go. Oh, see, these guys are now struggling. There we go. Is that another helicopter they just brought out? Hey, you do not have the right! Come here. There we go, a one hit KO. Jesus. My BMP sure took a hit. We're fine though. Yep, see we've got some we've got some contact over here. We should be fine. We've got a tank over here as well for support. Oh, this is amazing. See, we have our helicopter. Our helicopter is like our main asset. If this thing dies, we're screwed. Right, okay, we should we should still be fine. Oh yeah, here we go, see, there we go, these, yeah, these guys are bringing nothing, wait till they bring out, a, they're going to bring out a lot more, they're going to be bringing out a lot more stuff, this is, see, what I mean, they had a sniper, so they countered it, they counter by having a sniper, oh, oh, that tank, just, uh oh, that's pissed off, that's pissed off the helicopter, come here, Germans, I saw that, come here, Oh, oh, it's down, it's down. Oh, I think that T-72 just took it out. What the hell? Oh yeah, see they're bringing in more stuff. 
Uh, it's going to get a lot harder, trust me. It is going to get a lot harder. These guys are just bringing out the... The, these guys are just bringing out the starters. Oh my god, you should see what they're bringing out. Holy shit. This... See every time that siren goes off, I think just new enemy... A new wave of enemy income. I don't, I'm sure I set that to 20,000 instead of 2,000. I might have mistaken it to set it as 2,000 so they have very little resources. So I think this might be an easy win and I might have to retry this, but I don't know. See, now they're bringing out Falschmagers. Oh, see, I think that was just, they just brought out an airstrike. Oh, come here. Oh, you took out my tank, you bitch. Come here. Come here. Excuse me. Oh, they, oh, they just dropped a bomb. Oh, see what I mean by getting, now it's going to be two times harder. Yeah, the, heli the German helicopters aren't that tough. There we go, see what I mean? Yeah. I think I'll take control. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Oh, beauty. Uh oh, looks like our BMP just went down. Oh, they're bringing some more helicopters. They're bringing some... They're bringing... Pff, bitch, please. Oh, a one-hit KO by that tank. Very nice. Oh! How dare you? Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Excuse me. Oh shit, They're, he's firing at me. This thing is very inaccurate. Uh oh. I need to take that thing down. Yup. There we go. See, the German helicopters are very vulnerable. Oh, see, now they're bringing out the good stuff. There we go. What about our grenade launchers? Oh, that's reloading. They have grenade launchers as well. Well, we'll see who reloads first. Die! Die! There we go. Oh yeah, baby. I think I might have set it too low. Oh my god! Oh, the amount of missiles that just went off there. Okay, I think we might need to go in for a... Uh... Right, okay. I'm going to try and see if I can actually go for that helicopter. I don't know if I can. Right, give me, give me strength. Oh, I see one. Oh! Right, okay, I need to call in some more helicopters. Um, wait, that's the wrong one. Wrong one! I need to get some more helicopters, some more air support. Actually, I might get an airstrike. Where is that vehicle? I'm going to get an airstrike on that thing. Let's see how the airstrike goes. I'm going to go in for refueling, for, for a resupply, sorry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jesus. Jesus, there's a lot. All right, okay, here comes here comes the plane. Uh, I actually don't know. Here it is. Can it attack it? What did you do? You missed. Oh, typical Russian accuracy. Right, okay, I need to go down to refuel. Uh, sorry, to resupply. By the way, for you who don't who do play call terms and don't know how to ascend or descend in the helicopters, it is left. It is left all to go down and Q to um and Q to go up to ascend. So that that's about it. Uh, this thing should be shooting back. Die. This thing needs to die. There we go, got him. Got him. There we go, got him. Oh what they brought out. Oh they brought out a tank. That is very dangerous. I do not have anything that can compete against that. Look, you see it? It's just bouncing off. Oh, it's pissed. It's pissed off. Um, okay, we're, we're going to need to get some... We're going to need to get... Oh, no. Um, update target. Can we, can we update the target? Update target. Go over here. Shit. These guys... Oh, oh. We might be losing this. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Yes, got him. Excellent. Booyah. Okay, we're gonna get a tank over here. Uh, we're gonna get. Um, we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna get. Uh, you know, the first tank over here, which is fine. Okay, now that these guys are really stepping up their shit. Um, okay, we need to reload it. We do not have much. Right, we're gonna get some more air support. I want to get another. Um, I want to get another gunship. 
Okay, and I want to get... Oh my god. This is what I'm worried. See, now the helicopter's now attacking us. Uh oh. Oh, and that tank's dead. Oh, we have nothing. We have nothing. Okay, we need another tank over here. This tank is still alive. I'm gonna try and take this thing out. Uh, got him. Excellent. There we go. We should be fine now. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you luckily only ran over some of our men. Oh, it's gonna be a real laggy, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's real laggy, but this is real world stuff. There we go. See, now we got, we got a replacement. Let's do this. Oh my god, these guys just keep coming. They don't have many resources. They don't have much left. Yep. Yep, there we go. Excellent, that is down. How's this area holding up? We're we're actually struggling. Uh oh. We're struggling. We might need to fall back. Fall back. I don't know why you guys are pushing up. Fall back. Do not go out. Do not go out. I repeat, do not go out. Fall back. Fall back. Ah, see, now we have reinforcements. There we go. Uh, why is it playing music? I told it to stop playing music. Uh, no, I don't want the copyright coming to me. There we go. Oh. Oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Is this thing fully loaded now? It is. It's not fully loaded, but it's fine. We can do it. There we go. They're really, they're really bringing out stuff towards this side. What is that? Oh, they brought, is that an artillery? Oh, it's a self-propelled. Oh, goodbye. Oh, very nice. Right, we're fine. Right, you guys get back in. Get back in. You guys can get back in again. Oh my God, we might need to fall back in this area. They might, they might overrun us. They only have 345 points left. I think I might have miscalculated this one. But that was tough though. They actually did really well there. Right, come on. Come on, aiming, aiming, aiming. There we go, he's dead. There we go, excellent. I think we're actually done. Oh, they've brought out a last thing. They brought out one more thing. Yeah, you ain't gonna survive, pal. Yeah! Let it rain! And it's dead. Just let it rain, just let it rain, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, man. Oh man, that was so cool. Looks like they're, they're concentrating their forces over here, which is fine. We're still doing okay. Although, again, I they, they keep getting resources back, but we need to finish them off. We need to finish these guys off. All right, let's get a squad. Right, let's get a squad. Let's start pushing up. Let's start finishing these guys off. Because we are going to need to try and finish these off as close as possible. Right, finish these guys off. Right, I'm taking charge. You can see that these guns aren't the best. They're AK, the AKS 774U, but their body armor is really good. Right, I'm going to take out this guy. Yup, you're dead. Oh, get down. Right, let's go out, let's venture, let's go out and hunt. You know what I also really love about this is that the map itself, the map is so really nice. You can see there's just ruined buildings everywhere. We're actually holding out pretty well. These guys just keep coming out though. These guys are just keep spawning. But that's okay, because I am okay with that. Because every time they spawn, we're just getting the advantage of killing them. So we're fine. Yup, there we go. I think there's one more guy left, right? There we go. These guys just keep coming. We need to finish these guys off. Oh, looks like our, our cover's been ruined. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get into cover over here then. Let's get into cover. Oh, look at this. This is sick, bro. This is sick. Right, are we finishing, are we finishing him off? Oh, nice. Are you gonna die? Are you gonna die? No. Nope. 
That's okay, we will go out and kill you anyway. Oh my god, you just got wrecked. So this is, these guys are actually using AK-105Ms. The more advanced Russians, should we say. And these guys just keep coming, man. I don't know how these guys are like spending their points. I thought they usually run out. Right, we're gonna have to fall back. These guys are not well equipped to deal with these guys. We might have to, we might have to send out the professionals. These guys. These guys have run out of ammo on their main guns. Nice. We're fine though, we are doing, we're actually doing pretty well. These guys have the main guns. These guys have AK-7Ms. Oh, these guns are really powerful. Uh-oh. Wait. Come on, let's kill them. Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yup, that guy's almost dead. Can we kill him? Oh, lovely. Lovely. Is this tank dead? No, it's alive. Okay, we're fine. Oh yes, there we go. You see, these guys can't handle us. I think we have to go kill the last guy. Alright, let's go kill him. Let's go handle with the Russian VDVs. There we go, excellent. Right, let's take out these guys. There we go, dead. You can stay back, because you don't have a gun. Actually, you can... Oh, you can take... There's an RPG, really. As you can steal one of the German guns, because the German guns are quite nice. You can take their gun. Oh, they have more points. How are they getting more points? I don't understand this. I thought it's until they run out and then we just kill the last guy. But they're... Dude, they just keep getting points, man. But you know, guys, I think this is actually okay. A good place to leave it off because they just seem to keep getting points and all of them are destroyed. So last time I did play this, everything seemed to went right and I killed them all and they had no more points to play this. But these guys just keep getting resources and I don't know how. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, well, of course it's by killing us, but but we but we have to stay strong. I don't think they could. Yeah. See, now they're running out of resources. So let's make sure, let's go out and kill everyone. There'll be, there will be something and we have to go kill them. So let's go kill them before they can kill us men. Look, you can see that they've almost run out of resources. Let's do a wee scouting mission just to see where they are. You know, I think this, this, this is it, because it seems like they're not bringing out anything else. Or, oh, hold on. We have, oh, hello. There we go. There we go, mission complete, done. There we go. Okay, they're going to get more resources, but I think that's it. I think that's a really good way to finish off. So I'm going to pause it here. And that is this mod. Brutal, what was it called? Brutal Combat Mod by TJ Dagger. Now, this mod I absolutely love. And it's really good for people who just want to mess around, who don't want to do any missions, but just want to test out what the different factions are like. So if you are... If you are definitely like that and you do want to mess around with the different factions and you want to mess around with the with the air support that they have and test out what what they've got then make sure then this is a mod and also if you do want to see more of this mod then make sure you leave a like on this video comment down below if you oh whoops you dropped my phone and uh, comment below that you do like it and also I have got a shout out to do for someone who does subscribe so guys we're actually only we're really close to to 400 subscribers i know it doesn't seem a lot but it means a lot to me and it shows that 400 people have subscribed and like the channel which means a lot and it does sorry i'm just trying to find the the, the person that subscribed but it means a lot and i really hope that we're hoping to reach you know 400 subscribers by the end of april so that uh, eight, it's only the 20th today and it's only a couple, I think it's um, a couple, 29 days and no, 30, 31 days in, in April is at 30. So a big, a big shout out to Sun Nguyen and is that it? I think so. I think that is it. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I've, unless I've passed it and I don't know where it is, but I think... That is it, yeah, so big shout out to you, if I can get to your name again, where was it, see, uh, I have so many 
notifications. So that is Sun Naguyan. Naguyan. Thank you for subscribing, welcome to the channel and I hope you really do enjoy the content that I do make and I'm just going over to make sure there's nobody, there's some, if there is, I, I, I don't see it but anyway thank you guys so much for watching us but again big shout out to you and also just yeah I absolutely love this mod and I recommend it to anybody who loves TG Dagger's work on this and he has made similar stuff like this before in the past and all of his mods have just been amazing so if you do want me to do this in multiplayer as well with someone else then make sure you let me know in the comments as well but other than that guys i just like to say thank you so much for watching and our support and i will see you in the next video see you later and goodbye